March 21st, 2014, I was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer. I had been in pain for about two months. And I thought I had mastitis. That's what it comes as a infection. And so I got two or three rounds of antibiotics and um, I was getting ready to go visit my, take a trip with my son. And um, I was in so much pain. I was working, seeing patients and I was waiting for Duke to call finally from the breast cancer and they never called me. So I was, had been in a book club with a doctor <clears throat> of oncology at UNC and I shot her an email and I was like, you know, Lisa, I just Googled my symptoms and uh, it looks like I could possibly have this really rare, aggressive breast cancer, or inflammatory breast cancer. I said, I'm sure that's not the case, but I'm in so much pain and I'm leaving town and I think I ought to get checked out. Well, within two or three hours, I had four emails, but I was still clueless because I just had never heard of such a cancer hurting so much outside. It's like when you're nursing your baby and your, and your ducts get uh, inflamed. And then antibiotics helped, but it wouldn't go away. And that's why the doctors were confused. And so um, she said, we're gonna call you in the morning. They called and they said, how about coming in at eight o'clock? I said, okay, that's work, that works. And I said, should I bring my husband? And they're like, yeah, let's have a breast party. I was like, who wants to have a breast party? You know, ne definitely not me. But anyway, Andy came and he picked me up and we were driving into the hospital and he looked at me and he said, Julia, we're not gonna get worried about this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you that you know, we can't take care of. And uh, the first two or three doctors I even saw that day were like, oh yeah, you got on the wrong antibiotic. I'm telling you women this so you'll know about this. This is very dangerous. The first two or three doctors I saw that day were like, oh, you need a different antibiotic and you're gonna be, you know, it's fine. And, and then about four hours into the whole day, it was a, about a 10 or 11 hour day, an attending comes in and you could tell, boy, she was meant business. And uh, she goes, didn't you notice this big thing under your arm? And I said, yeah, but I knew it was a lymph node, but I thought I had an infection. And she was like, you know, she, she walks out and then like two or three other doctors come in and I'm like, uh-oh. And uh, I, they were moving me up and down floors and up and down rooms and I, I walk out through the waiting room. It's really funny to me. My husband is Velcroed to his phone. And of all days, you wanna talk about God having a sense of humor, his cell phone wouldn't work. I don't know what happened. It, it, if the battery wouldn't work, but anyway, he was sitting out there 10 hours knowing that we were going down a big old bad place and he didn't have his phone. So I'm running past to go upstairs to get another test and I say, call Rick and tell him to pray. That's my cousin, his partner. I said, it's not looking good. 